Do you know what types of magnesium are good? And why it is so important not just to the success of the Corimbra protocol, but also for all human beings? So check this video out. Our body works because of thousands of chemical reactions that happen all the time inside it. And these reactions need an enzyme system to happen. Magnesium is an extremely important cofactor in more than 300 enzymatic reactions in the human body, like protein synthesis, muscle and nerve function, blood glucose control, blood pressure regulation. It's also required for energy production and glycolysis. It contributes to the development of bones and in the transport of calcium and potassium across cell membranes, a process that is very important to nerve impulse con conduction, muscle contraction and normal heart rhythm. Without magnesium, we will not be here as human beings. In the United States, around 80% of the population is magnesium deficient. Brazil is also considered one of the most magnesium deficient countries in the world. And this deficiency can lead to a variety of health problems like cardiovascular disease, kidney and liver damage, muscle cramps and weakness, weakened immune system, osteoporosis, insulin resistance, and much more. The symptoms of magnesium deficiency are very hard to diagnose, as they could indicate many other conditions. And as magnesium plays its role in many reactions in our body, its deficiency could also be seen in lots of different areas of our body. So to check magnesium levels is also a little bit problematic, because it is not accurate. Magnesium works inside of our cells or inside of our bones, and because of that, a a simple blood test will not tell you the accurate amount of magnesium in your body. The option is measure magnesium serum or ionized magnesium concentration in the blood. Or talk to your doctor to hear what he has to offer you. Some foods are also rich in magnesium and should be included in your daily diet. Like dark leafy greens in the form of salads, potatoes, beans, lentils, avocados, bananas, figs, strawberries, blackberries, nuts, seeds, brown rice and dark chocolate. We have a range of different types of magnesium. I will post a link of each of them on Amazon on the description box if you'd like to check it out. Let me list the most important ones here for you. Magnesium glycinate is one of the most bioavailable forms of magnesium and also the least likely to induce diarrhea. It is the safest option for correcting a long time deficiency as it raises red blood cells magnesium. Magnesium malate. It's a very good choice for people suffering from fatigue since the malic acid is a vital component of enzymes that play a key role in energy production. It's also very helpful for detox. Magnesium threonate is the only form known to readily cross the blood-brain barrier and penetrate the mitochondrial membrane to improve brain function. This form optimizes magnesium levels in the brain, enhancing memory and cognitive function. Magnesium chloride. It has an impressive absorption rate and is a great form of magnesium to take for detoxing. It can aid kidney function and can boost a sluggish metabolism. Magnesium citrate is a combination of magnesium carbonate and citric acid. It is inexpensive and highly absorbable. It is commonly used to induce bowel movement and because of that is not recommended for those with loose stools. Magnesium sulfate is commonly referred to Epsom salt. It's ideal for raising magnesium levels. The ideal concentration for using Epsom salt baths to raise magnesium status is approximately 500 grams or two cups of Epsom salt dissolved in 15 gallons of water, the amount that can fit in a standard size bathtub. Ideal amount of time spent soaking is 15 minutes, two to three times a week. Magnesium can help you if you suffer from cardiovascular problems like irregular heartbeat, osteoporosis, rheumatic pains, constipation, muscle cramps, problems with nutri nutrients absorption, bad digestion, diabetes or insulin problems, headaches and migraine, insomnia, stress, overweight, just to mention a few. And how can I take magnesium then? If you are a healthy person, you can buy in the pharmacy magnesium chloride. It is in its salt form and take every day mixed with water. The solution would be 33 grams of magnesium dissolved in one and a half liters of water. 
mix it and put it in the fridge. Take a small cup of it every day. It is extremely hard to overdose magnesium, so don't worry, because your body will get rid of the excess through your urine. And that's why people with kidney problems have to be very careful with the supplementation and contact a doctor before taking it. A side effect of overdose would be diarrhea. If you feel you are getting loose in stools, reduce the dose and fight the point where your digestion is working perfectly and keep it the dose at it. Start from the dose I mentioned before and walk it up depending on your body tolerance. You can take your dose in the morning with your breakfast, but if you suffer from insomnia, you can take it before going to bed because magnesium chloride relaxes the muscles and helps to release melatonin. So you will find a great help on your sleepless nights. Let's talk then about the magnesium and the Karimba protocol. Magnesium was already playing a very important role on the Karimba protocol. But since February 2017, Dr. Cicero concluded that it was absolutely necessary to the complete su success of the treatment. Then he updated the magnesium dose to 800 to 1200 milligrams of magnesium a day but elemental magnesium. So check the labels for elemental magnesium and not just magnesium. Just to remind you, this is a recommended dose. So talk to your protocol doctor about it and how you can check your serum levels. You don't necessarily need to take it as just one form of magnesium. Many protocol doctors are mixing different forms of magnesium and finding a good balance for people that suffer from diarrhea with this supplementation. So talk to your protocol doctor what could be a perfect match and dosage for you. The advantages of taking magnesium during the protocol includes helps with emotional control, so important to the success of the treatment, it fights osteoporosis that could be one of the side effects of the treatment if you don't do it right, helps with the absorption and metabolism of vitamin D, it is anti-inflammatory, it has high levels of safety, helping calcium to move right to the bones. Magnesium, as mentioned before, it can also be obtained from fruit. But because of the calcium absorption and the release of magnesium through urine due to the high doses of vitamin D, it is safer and certain to get it through supplementation as well. The most common forms of magnesium used for the protocol are magnesium glycinate because this one is the least probable to give you a laxative effect. Be perfect to be taken in higher doses. Ionic magnesium, that's the one we use here at home. I will link in the description box for you as well. And magnesium chloride, very popular in Brazil for its good absorption and price. So as mentioned before, everyone will have to play with the dose to find a perfect spot. Everybody should supplement with magnesium, not just protocol patients. It is essential for life and will make a lot of bad symptoms disappear from your life. So if you're not supplementing yet, ask your doctor and start now. If you are on the protocol, call, talk to your doctor if he didn't prescribe it any magnesium for you yet, because it is really important for, for the success of the treatment. So thank you for watching again guys, give me a thumbs up if you like the video, share it if you like and subscribe to the channel for more interesting stuff coming up. Be nice, be grateful and I'll see you in the next video.